Hey, what's going on, tech enthusiasts? BoHD here, and AT&T sent me the Asus Mimo Pad 7 with LTE to show you guys, as it's only available with AT&T right now. It costs $175 off contract, or about $75 with a new two-year contract, and you get an Intel Atom quad-core processor, the new Asus Zen UI, a 720p LCD IPS display, 1GB of RAM, and a 5MP rear and 2MP front-facing camera. Now to get inside this box, all we need to do is slice off the one piece of tape keeping this guy together, which I'm going to pretend to do for you guys since I got a little bit too excited and cut it open without pressing the record button. Yeah, it happens sometimes. We can get inside the box by peeling off the flap to expose the Asus Mimo Pad 7 LTE, which is sitting right on top with a couple pieces of paper. We have a device quick start guide, and then we have a piece of paper detailing the AT&T locker feature, which will actually allow you to store photos onto AT&T's cloud to essentially access anywhere. And you do get 50 gigabytes for free, which means you can store a lot of photos using this device. But then we have the Asus Mimo Pad 7 LTE, which I'm going to set off to the side for a moment because we do have some other stuff underneath. We first of all have an Asus branded US wall wart used to charge the device. There's an Asus safety notices packet here, and then underneath that we have a standard micro USB charging cable, and that's about it. So taking a look back at the Asus Mimo Pad 7 LTE, we can go ahead and take off all of that gross plastic, and we'll be greeted with a relatively chunky and cheap feeling tablet, which is kind of what I was expecting to be honest, since it does cost less than $200. It has a matted plastic back cover, which is actually very similar to the 2013 Nexus 7. Taking a look around the device, and we will find the SIM card and micro SD card slots located underneath the flap on the left hand side. There's a volume rocker and power sleep on off button on the right hand side, a micro USB port up top with a 3.5mm headphone jack on the bottom. On the front of the Mimo Pad 7 LTE, we have a 2 megapixel front facing camera sensor and an ambient light sensor with a speaker grill above the 7 inch 720p IPS display and below the display as well as an AT&T logo. So yeah, this guy does have front facing stereo speakers which is awesome. If we flip this guy over, we will find the 5 megapixel rear facing camera sensor, there's another AT&T logo and some Asus and Intel branding. So this thing is branded like a cow with logos. I know a lot of you guys aren't going to like that, so it's certainly worth noting. Now in terms of the software, it is running the Asus Zen UI on top of Android 4.4.4 KitKat. Hopefully we will see Android 5.0 Lollipop, but I don't know if that's planned. There is a good amount of bloatware installed on here, not only from AT&T, but from Asus as well, which you can disable, but it doesn't look like you can uninstall it all. I do really like the quick settings on this tablet as you have access to a bunch of various settings more so than stock Android, and it's displayed in a very simple and flat UI. There's really no ugly 3D animations going on here, which kind of reminds me of the updated TouchWiz UI. This tablet is equipped with a quad-core Intel Atom processor that does a pretty good job running this OS. It doesn't feel particularly fast, but then again it's not particularly slow. The display also has pretty good viewing angles, colors appear kind of faded, they don't appear terribly saturated, nowhere near as vibrant or as vivid as an AMOLED panel, but uh, that's to be expected. The good news I've gathered so far is that this tablet is relatively inexpensive and it has LTE, so I can carry it with me wherever I go and always remain connected, unless I journey off into the mountains of Oregon, but even then I might find a signal with AT&T, &T. I'm not really sure. So that's my first impressions of the Asus Mimo Pad 7 with LTE for AT&T. I don't plan on reviewing this guy entirely, but if you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know down below in a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it helps show your support. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you're brand new. But as always, I'm BoHD. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya!